<laughs> right, hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 47 semi-final between Sindain and his Lizardmen and Gadenik and his Chaos team. In the booth with me is Dimmy G, hello! Hello Jimmy! Hello, hello everybody! <laughs> hello! We have got a classic matchup, and every time I say the Chaos will just bang out the Lizards, the Lizards normally just bang out the Chaos, it's really weird. <laughs> Well, that's the thing, isn't it? The lizards have a lot of mighty blow, right? They've got they've got five mighty blow characters, and there's a lot of armor rate on the chaos team, so they can easily make some removals like this one. Like this one, that's a good time, Jim. Thank you. But yeah, it's it's not a bad lizard team, really, considering it's the semi-final. Yeah. yeah. So, like, he's managed to keep it pretty healthy and stuff. Like, it's done. It's done pretty well. Yep. Conversely, Nick looks like he's kept his team healthy, but it's actually just got annihilated. <laughs> it just it was it was unbelievably way better than this, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, what was it? Claw Pommer and his ball carrier both died. Or yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. He has another Claw Pommer. <laughs> <laughs> and who needs a ball carrier anyway? <laughs> <laughs> no, they just bloat. <laughs> yeah, they they kind of are right. If if they don't get hit, they could it could be a rookie carrying it. Yeah. So, and uh, yeah. there's no inducements here, is there? What's the inducements? Oh, I'll tell you. Look how bad this was by Nick. Nick, Nick this this is a niggled guy, and right. he just literally thought he was getting two dice on him. <laughs> but this guy doesn't have guard, and he just so he wanted to hit the niggled guy, and he was like, he was streaming. He's like, I'm gonna hit the niggled Saurus, and then like <laughs> he got to the point where he's gonna hit him, and he's like, oh, I can't. <laughs> 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 so that was pretty good. Uh, is there any inducements? A babe for Sindain is the only inducement. Babe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If he had a ball carrier, that could have been a wizard. Yeah. And he goes for the pylon, but it's very exposed. Pylon all the time. Pylon for safety. Mm. I'll be I'll be interested to see if Sindane throws a foul on it. Like lizards are so bad at foul. Oh, it's not good. Want to roll a double skull there? Yeah, I actually like the foul here. I, I called it at the time just because if he yeah, clears, think... the, like if he clears everybody, I think you foul. Yeah, I mean like it's yeah, it's a claw bomber, isn't it? Yeah. But like I say, it's like it's so it's such a horrible thing to have to do. Like you don't want to be fouling with lizards, but sometimes you have to, right? Yeah. The the main thing is you can get so many assists. There's no threat on the ball. Like do you know what I mean? Like there's no like you're not giving up anything to just go for this foul here, like positionally. Pickup was already failed, but like you know, he's making some good AV breaks here. Oh, isn't he? yeah, but they're all staying on the pitch. Three yeah. stuns is disappointing, especially yeah. in this matchup. Like you're just like, just give me anything, give <laughs> me anything, give me something to hold on to. <laughs> give, me, give me just a, a sliver of hope. <laughs> Slivers of equity. Yeah, it's uh, it's a brutal one. Double key. Hey, key. it's the KO. Huge KO. Is it double fours, Jim? It's not double it's fours. Not double fours. That sticks. I would have done that foul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like it if you just get the bang out, like the bang downs on here. Obviously, if you bought down one of these two, then it gets a lot uh, worse. But, uh, but even getting I the pushes. Nick, I bet Nick's probably a bit. Well, the problem is, is like where Nick blitzed from is like. He's going to be, if he doesn't pile on, he's in base contact, isn't he? So yeah. it's like, he kind of had to pile on, but then obviously he's just throwing someone to get fouled. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't a great fan of it, to be honest. Yeah, it's uh, an interesting one. You always kind of have to blitz the one on the end, don't you? Know, that's the thing with lizards. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So strong, and we've got the guard as well. That you just got to try and pick off what you can. And like, hey, also like the best team at it because obviously they got horns. Yeah. And it's still really difficult. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's still really difficult to like get the right blitz. Wait. Right. Coxigor says, "Nah, don't fancy it. Don't want to go anywhere near that claw." Mm. This seems like a. Shit turn for Sindane, doesn't it? Like yeah. After the last turn with three stuns, and then you think, oh, yeah, anyway, he's got the removals, it can do something, and then. 
No, just no, just got stuck on this damn firm, stuck on this damn firm. Looks like Nick has got to get a turn to get back into it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, tentacles on the skink. Amazing, Jim. Yeah. Best. Glorious. Don't like him not being over the side, though, right? Yeah, you want him t as central as possible. Yeah, yeah. It's like tackle, isn't it? You want it yeah. like central most of the time. Probably like, like, is probably pretty decent in this matchup, though, the uh, strength or tents. It's fantastic, yeah, because the contents on this game can, can't dodge him. Oof, cheeky dodge out. Cheeky. Cheeky. <laughs> Bet Nick's guy, he ain't got his claw on uh, turn one. <laughs> no, no, right? Imagine if he had two. You'd be devastated, yeah. Yeah, it was it was a funny trade. He, actually he said afterwards that he wasn't he was kind of okay with that trade, which I think is a bit crazy because like it can get you so much value having the tackle like the claw pump, can't it? Even the oh, tackle mate, as yeah. well. It could just make yeah. so much like it's worth the same as the player he traded it for, basically. Four skills versus three. And then obviously Sora start of 80 and Beastman start 60, so it's literally equal TV trade. But like, if he could have teed off Claw Ponting every turn, it would have made a hell of a difference, wouldn't it? Oh, mate, yeah, definitely. And uh, Sindane would have been a lot more uncomfortable for this drive. I guess also, like, he could have just failed the foul, right? He could have got sent off from the foul. Yeah, so... that's it. That's what I was thinking, yeah. And like, I don't know how much bench Sindane's got. Has he got a bench? Uh, two. Two skinks, yeah. I mean, it's not, yeah. I guess it's not even that bad if it gets sent off, to be fair. It's the Saurus you're worried about, isn't it? It's not yeah. the skinks. Oh man, Nick, Nick's game plan before the match was amazing on his whiteboard. It was like, kill the Saurus, kill the Croc. One, kill the Saurus. Two, kill the Croxigore. Three, leave the skinks alive so they can tell the story to their, <laughs> to their loved ones or something. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good plan, Jim. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> There's a big pal on the slam firma and a stun as well. Beautiful stun. Really nice. Really nice. Probably a bit better than the other stuns he got. The other stuns he got, but a stun on the slam firm is pretty goddamn good. Yeah, warriors are yeah. warriors are good, aren't they? That's the thing. Like warriors are better than the beast man. But... If you like hitting the beastman is good because you can bang them out like super. Yeah, easy. AV8. Yeah, AV8. It's not Oof. that much, especially with like five mighty, well, four mighty blows now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like, n given the turn now, I think Nick should be trying to get his strength four back to the center, right? Like, he maybe should have done before, but like now he has to, right? Because just because Sindane's running out of time, I would say. Ooh, that's a good stunt. Yep. Quite, quite surprised that, um, like, lack of lizards leaving the pitch, to be honest. Yeah, that's the thing, though, isn't it? With, uh, with Claw, just Claw Mighty, you get a lot of stuns, and you don't Ooh, necessarily get removals, do you? Like, you can reliably get more stuns, but you can't reliably get removals from it. Yeah. To get the extra hit. I don't like that at all. I much prefer the blitz from this guy. Because then it makes him strength yeah. 5, right? Then he can run away, reposition, and then you still make that hit anyway afterwards. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was real bad from Nick, actually. Yeah, this could have been a blitz and got him central. But it's still tough for the lizards, like, because they, they kind of have to go left, don't they? Because the uh, stun there. They're going to come all the way around. Yeah, yeah, they can. I mean, the ball's right back here, so he can just. But push up the sideline, he's like move 11. Oh, uh, yeah, blitz with that. He is like completely separated. He is, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not great for the lizards, <laughs> don't get me wrong. But like, you knew he was going to have to do this sooner or later, didn't you? Like, do you know what I mean? As, as Kadenik, you know he's going to have to do it sooner or later, so I really like the blitz. Back to centre with this guy. 
Yeah, it makes this turn like a lot more complicated for Sundane. This is a pretty like, well, you got to do what you got to do in it. There's nothing else. Real nice turn for Sundane, wasn't it? The, the crocs there, are fantastic now, marking two warriors. Yeah, solid. And like, like, obviously Nick doesn't want to blitz the skink, but he's forced to blitz the skink this turn. Yep. And he rolls a power push power. Yep, can't even get him down. This is a nice, nice solution Nick has here though for, for defensive, defensively stopping this guy scoring. I mean, it's actually for skink, mate. He just walks past them, doesn't he? Well, no, he doesn't. Because this guy can double GFI and he stand firm so he can't get served. Ah, oh, wow. <laughs> Good day, Nick, not doing what Davo did <laughs> when, he, <laughs> when he lost the one skink. Yep. I hope you're taking notes, Andy. <laughs> this is a pretty simple solution, though, from St. Dane, wasn't it? By using three on there, meant that he couldn't tie up the Saurus back here. Whereas if he'd had yeah. that strength four. Uh, central, then the strength four could have tagged the ball and he could have, you know, everything could have been complicated. Huge removal. Huge. Absolutely huge, yeah. G'day's on, like, is G'day losing this bash war a bit here? Yeah, well, yeah got three. But, and because it's a removal, it means he can just, like, he could have tatoed, right? And he could have tagged and tatoed if it had been a, just a knockdown, but now, of course, now the removal. There's no chance of getting tentacles on the ball now. You just yeah, yeah, just yeah. Cage. Huge sigh of relief, and then just yeah. <laughs> Lona reroll, glorious. I guess you just Chlorosaurus here. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty good. Consolation prize, isn't it, Chlorinosaurus? It is. But you're left on. You know, you're left on just hoping he rolls a double one at some point. Yeah. And the, the scary thing is, as well for Nick, is um, in the back of his mind will be the lizard one. Oh no, there's enough stand firm on Nick's team, isn't there? To yeah. Stop a while. Yeah, he's got some stand firm. He's got three, I think. Exactly three. Yeah. I'm surprised he took a claw actually, you know, on, on the last two guys that he leveled, he, he gave one claw and one, uh, one, oh, maybe he had three, maybe he gave two stand firms and one claw, but I'm, whatever, whatever it was, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit, I think he had two maybe, and he gave one claw, one stand firm, I think I would have maybe he's gone for the four stand firm, just so you've got a bit of, uh, a bit of defence, so, yeah, here we go, a couple of dodges, a couple of GFIs, no problem. Easy. <clears throat> Easy. I mean, this has gone amazingly well for Sindane, really, right? No bang outs. Yes. Yeah. Whatsoever. Uh, the two KOs come back. The three KOs for Nick stay out, <laughs> which includes the claw pom. So, I guess because of that. Yeah, there's only ten. Yeah, because I yeah. was thinking as Sindane, I was thinking maybe you just like. Oh, it's, it's not the end of the half yet. No, uh, yeah, it's turn eight. Um, I was thinking of maybe the second half, like you just, you just defensive dacker, right, in the second half. There's an argument. There's an argument for just defensive dackering, but it, I guess it depends if these come back. If these all stay out, then you definitely play it properly. If these two come back, then then maybe you just defensive dacker and then you're 50% to win, right, if, if nobody dies, basically. Keep your team. Yeah. Because <clears throat> it's risky playing defense against this team. Even, even as crippled as Nick's team is, it's still, it's still a very nasty team to face. I mean, this looks really tough for Kadena, Nick, actually. <laughs> it does now. Yeah, he needs, he yeah. needs these kill. He needs like he needs the claw pommer and the tentacles back. Basically, he needs both of those back. He's got a lot of rookie goats. He needs removals. And, uh, and back. No, I take it Sindane's still got his Apo as well. Yeah. 
They both do. Oh, and the babe brought her back the uh, block. No. Oh, oh, babe, do anything. Amazing. It's absolutely standard blitz there where it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lazy non 3D from Nick. Sad. Redeems himself now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you foul here, right? Because he's. Mm, maybe you don't. You're on 10 players at the moment. Oh, you don't have to. Do you foul a skink? No, I don't think so. Like, not unless it's the edgy one. Yeah, no, he's, got, he's, he's got the bench now. You don't foul a skin. I think you might have fouled. Now nah, it depends because you just you need these back anyway. They'll right have a chance. It's interesting. I guess on ten you, you just can't take the risk. Saurus is back. All three are back. Boy howdy. Oh, that's a uh, that's a massive swing there for Nick. Yeah, massive, massive equity shift. Having to do that without either of those. E like, both of these are so important, aren't they? The, uh, the claw, oh, the claw pump pump yeah. yeah, the claw pump to remove people and then the strength for, like, tentacles to lock down any skink shenanigans around the ball. So, yeah, I'd be I'd be really tempted just to lay off now, right? We're against the claw pump and all the claw might. You just put three skinks on the LOS. Everyone else huddle up here. Take him a couple of turns to get to you, and then you know just get one player knocked down or whatever, and then lie down and, and just pray for overtime. Win the toss, you probably win. There's an argument for it. There is, it, there's an argument for it. It's mostly how I used to play against Corpom all the time on Fumble. <laughs> Run away. Yeah. Run away. Yeah. <laughs> and now you do it all the time on Blood Bowl 2? Yeah, yeah, but now it's on offense, which is brilliant. <laughs> Ooh, very, very spicy kick. Oh, baby, that is uh, <laughs> not where you want the ball. No. Especially when you don't oh. have a ball carrier. Yep, well, that makes it better. Yeah. I mean, it's, that's just the block one, right? Yep. But like it's still a player off the field, isn't it? And near the ball. But it's like, it's one of those things, isn't it? Because it's like, if you're Sindane, like, you're kind of happy that it's just a block one. And if you're Nick, you're happy that the Saurus gone. So it's like, I mean, see, that one's a bit worse. Yep. And the fact there's two of them is uh, even worse now. Yep. Should have moved these guys first, right? Just safe moves. Safe moves should have been made. Earlier. A little bit sloppy. Yeah, a little, a little bit sloppy. sloppy. Minor, but you know, still. There's another removal. <laughs> That's three, right? <laughs> yep, three out of three. Can he make it four out of four? Yes, oh man, <laughs> oh uh, man, that's the Apo though, right? It's only 50 50 at work, but yep, yeah, it does, and it fails. Oh. Flip me. Well, <laughs> that's the defense over, basically, isn't it, in turn one? Ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, when you look at the first half and, like, how, like, Sindane did pretty well to keep everyone alive. Yeah. And then just two LOSs. Like, Nick got, like, nothing done on the last LOS. Which is, like, this wouldn't be so bad, right? If this happened on turn eight, he's got the babe and he's, like, three KOs. Yeah. He would have only been able to hit three as well because the rest would be backlining. Yeah. But it, it just so happens Ooh. that it happened on the, uh, on the turn nine LOS, which is, uh... Yeah, a lot more impactful. Yeah, horrendous, yeah. Uh, so there, Nick Apple's the badly hurt because, of course, his best case scenario Fantastic. now is overtime. So 
he has to apple him and he's a stand firm as well so it increases the chances of getting to overtime so he had to apple that badly yeah there. I mean like if yeah if that stand firm's not on the pitch like you gotta think that sindane has got a real chance to do a one turn mm. yeah it's an incredible it's an incredible uh, player to score a one turns isn't it if, uh, stunt, yeah it's sure cool. feet edge four stunt Base cage? No. Um, technically, technically a base cage. Oh yeah, well, that's, that's fixed it. Uh. But yeah, it's very hard. It would, it would have been very hard to exploit anyway, wouldn't it? I mean, it's kind of desperation now for Sindane, isn't it? Yeah. Like, is it not like any sort of sliver of an opportunity you got to just go in for? Or, or just literally still just run away and lie down. Like, I would still be up for that now. You know, after losing four yeah. players, I would have been quite up for just running away. <laughs> Maybe just, even more inclined. Yeah, especially with this guy. <laughs> yeah, that skink needs to survive. Oh dear. Rot oh. Rot oh. Yeah, the crocs what? does have break tackles, yeah. This is, uh. That was horrendous for Sindane. It was, yeah. It's Classic claw problem rolling pushes. <laughs> yeah. Well, another one bites the dust? Well, not bites the dust. <laughs> Says hello to the dust. Hello. <laughs> so yeah, Nick's just got to think about the break tackle. Actually, both break tackle lads, right? There's a Saurus break tackle. And a yeah. cops break tackle, so just keep an eye on both of those. Make sure you don't give him any give him anything where he could get in with one dodge. I mean, yes, Sata, but the problem is you're not going to stop him from scoring because you've lost four players on turn one. <laughs> so. Yeah. And they're not per only one is permanently lost, so. And there's still a claw bomber on the pitch. Yeah. Oh, the dublays. Into push. On a stand farm. Gets the power. Mm -hmm. Just a stun. Where's the justice? Diced. That is a risky spot, isn't it? Because he could, uh... Okay, well, he's just blocked his own path there. He could have, uh... No, oh, no, he didn't. I can uh, cause I can see he could, he could knock over the Saurus, couldn't he? But he can't, now, yeah, because he'd have to block his own path. Plus, yeah. he's just going to... He's not going to hit the sewer skink. Oh, okay, he's just going to... Yeah. He's going to claw pom, isn't he, Jim? Yeah. That's what I would do. Crocs is a really nice one to claw pom as well, isn't it? Defenseless. No block. Yeah. Well, not... Completely defenseless, it's got thick skull, the best skill in the game, according to some. Uh, I think one, that might one. be the first time I've seen a, a Crocs punch that didn't just instantly get cast. Yeah, it feels like it, doesn't it? Normally, when I see a Crocs get punched, it instantly is cast or removed at least. <laughs> this is nice, isn't it? All like layered. Layered yeah. cage from Nick, so it doesn't matter. Like, it looks like this does something, but it doesn't. Oh, there's not many players left anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oof. What is he punching? Warrior. Oof. I guess that I guess the Agi Skink is further away from the tackle pommer there, but he's <laughs> he's still like a little bit hittable. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I don't think he's going to though, right? He's got to score. Like at the end of the day, he's got four turns. Like he still has to score. So I think he's got to yeah, abandon just pom that. The uh, pom the crocs and move to the right. Yeah. Double key. <laughs> I 
that's done. Oh, that's done. He's having a blinder, that Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> He's having an absolute blinder. <laughs> the best Crocs cigar I've ever seen. <laughs> Nick in no rush, he's still gonna... Yeah, using the crops to shield the ball as well, love it. Yeah. And, and protect... Claw. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, it has to follow. It has to follow. And now even if, even if he did like... What, 1D this guy, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, he'd have to double GFI and it'd still be an uphill, so... The break tackle, oh, the break tackle was there anyway. No, the break tackle was there, yeah, the break tackle could have got in. It yeah, would have been maybe. an uphill anyway, so... <laughs> Can't even do that. I mean, his ball carrier is defenceless. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of ball carriers, this is a good spot for this. <laughs> for yeah. the ball. Yeah. What uh, Newcastle should have done with Michael Owen when he was playing for them. <laughs> yep. Mm, tense on the outside. No. Could he have moved into the square? He's hittable by the Crocs. He needs to uh, tag this Crocs. He's going to blitz the dirty player for any. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these lizards have just like slowly disappeared, didn't they? Like there was <laughs> just a mad turn nine, and then yeah, gradually just dwindled down to six players. I guess like. Four of them happened in a turn, though. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it wasn't that slowly. It was. Yeah. It was pretty quickly. The defense was absolutely fucked, and he's done a good job to stick around and do something, really. Oh, we would have loved to have seen a perm there. <laughs> <laughs> that. But just, just you know, like just the absolute fear. Oh, he's abandoned the natty. Yeah. Yes. The DP's in range. Oof, but you can't... Well, you've either got to 2D him and... So you've got the Crocs, right? You've got to tag the Crocs. He's got that rookie, though, hasn't he? He's got that... Rookie one at the back. Oh, this is bad. This is a bad mistake by Nick. Uh, he should have had the guard there. So the Crocs would only come in for a 1D. This guy had the movement, so yeah, he should have had a croc. Yeah, but the thing is, you, you, if you, you know what I mean, like if you tag, I guess the guarder should have been back there, and then yeah, maybe his but Oh wow, he sidestepped into range. Yeah, that was. Maybe he's baiting the foul to free up the crocs. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, wasn't yeah, great. Wasn't a great play, badly hurt as well, so if he'd saved that no, apple, apple, yeah, if he'd yeah. saved that apple on the 50-50, he would have got it back for sure. So now even if he wins the ball in the overtime, like, depending on these co-rolls, it looks a bit rough. Mm. Tentacles! <laughs> Makes the tentacles, fails the dodge, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's only a 5+, plus because of the strength, right? Yeah, it was a 1, it was a 0, 1, 2, 3 plus. No, I meant the tense roll was on your fault. Oh, place. right, yeah, 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 the tense because he's stronger than him, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, just the KO for good measure. <laughs> Screw trying to surf this skink or anything, just try and bang out a Saurus. God, oh, a toxic dance, love it. Glorious. Love it. He deserved to score for that. He sure did. So actually went okay, okay, he did lose his, his best skink, but he actually took limited damage after the LOS, didn't he? Unbelievably. Uh, fail three KO rolls. Yeah, that's not good. And three pluses as well. Uh, I mean, it's turn 16, so... 
Yeah, he's got another chance. He's got some mighty blow hits, and he's got another yes. round of KOs. He gets to hit the guard, but he gets to hit the warriors though as well, doesn't he? Yeah. Nick playing for the riot. Playing for the riot. Outrageous. Well, I mean, he just loses, like, uh, if he doesn't. Yep. And then the like, stand well, firms. It, 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 there is a riot, obviously. The stand firms. So, yeah, he gets to play for both here, doesn't he? He stops the one turn with stand firms and then plays against the right with everything else. Yeah, you love to see it. Top, top level setting up. Yep. Really is better than... Better than most in the uh, uh No the gaping playoffs. hole here, Jim. No gaping hole. No, there isn't. Well, I mean, there would be. There would be if he didn't have stand firm. <laughs> 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 but that takes care of the one turn anyway. Yeah. There's no riot. So limited hits. I don't really like setting up just for the riot. I think I would have set up to maximise mighty blow hits on claw mighties, but I guess the only way you win is with a riot, maybe. Yeah, uh, he's in big trouble, isn't he? Yeah. Is that a blitz as well? I also I think the only way you win is winning the toss, right? Like, I think you have to win the toss anyway. And you... Yeah, and even then, it, even then it's still a bit iffy. But then, like, it depends on his care rolls, right? Yeah. Oh, there's two, there's a snake there. Oof. Goddamn snakes. I guess one saw us. Yeah. What's we'll he we'll on now? Seven? Eight. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Crocs was gonna was gonna break tackle through to hit the hit the tentacles. Yeah, that was a really nice play. Because the, the tentacles locks it locks the game down, right? As much as good as the claw pummer is, the tense is the one that wins the game now. Once you're ahead, tentacles is great at locking game, locking down games you're ahead in. Um, but yeah, so what's this? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players. If if Sindin had won the toss, then maybe there's a chance, but I think losing the toss has basically no chance for him now. Especially yeah, without, especially without like if he'd had the ball carrier and won the toss, I think he's in with half a shot. I mean, it's still like a crazy kickoff event, like a blitz or something here that might yeah. upset things. Is that the chocolate Benny Bobs? Pitch invasion. Yeah. Yeah, the Jimmy Fantastic chocolate is pretty funny, isn't it? Have you ever tried it? I've never tried it, no. Uh, Plo said he was going to send me some, so hopefully one day he will. Oh, is it Croatian, is it? Yep. Is he Cro he's Croatian, isn't he? Yeah, I, he yeah I think it is. Srećan najveće. Is he one for one on this LOS as well? What's this? Nope, well, he's certainly... It's two for two. <laughs> God. All this skill, guys. This is how you, this is how you play Blood Bowl. All yeah. this skill. Really nice. Really tons nice play. <laughs> tons and tons of skill. I mean, to be fair, like, Nick's played pretty well throughout the whole thing. But yeah, this, yeah, he's played a lot better. He's played a lot better than he needed to. <laughs> yeah, potentially, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, to be fair, almost I mean, was... all of us would have won this game right with these dices, but he has played pretty well, yeah. He was a GFI away from... Being out, wasn't he? Like against Washburn. Yeah, yeah, he was. Like he literally. Really was. He really was, yeah. Which he could have chained the carrier and not needed the GFI, so there you go. There you go. Well, the moral of the story is just bang stuff and don't care. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and, uh, is there ever any chance for an awful lizard coach against high CV chaos? Cool. Yeah, I mean, just dice. Just dice, right? That's the. Mate, um, was it, I don't know if it was last season or the season before, but Bright knocked out like three massive chaos teams with lizards. Like, right. And then, like, it was at like, his own detriment, to be fair, because his team was so smashed to pieces by the end <laughs> of it. Like, he had no chance of winning anything. But he, he literally went, he, he beat back to back lizards. And like some like I think pretty good chaos coaches as well. Yeah, yeah. And uh yeah, like it's definitely winnable, especially with a wizard. A wizard really tips the Yeah, especially for lizards. Like yeah, if you, like if you've got a super skin. 
Yeah, that's what he had, didn't he? He had a he had a wizard. He beat someone three 0 I can't remember who it was, but yeah. he beat someone three nil. <laughs> and it was just horrendous. So, mind you, if you have a Danic LOS, like, and you, <laughs> like, it's not going to be three 0 anymore, is it? Because no. it's got nothing, nothing left. I guess he doesn't foul. Yeah. He doesn't foul here, right? He just stands there, to stop the break tackle. I mean, this looks pretty much over here. Jim, it does. Especially stun there. But it's not over. Don't say it's over. It's pretty close. <laughs> it's about as close as it's going to be. It was funny, I was watching this, and Ar Artemis is cast of this, and Artemis was going mental because the Crocs didn't blitz the Claw Pommer. And instead he goes for a 3D uphill and it's like... I mean, to be fair, that was a good point by Art, right? Because he could have just put in the skink there, 2 d the claw pommer, and then just dodge these guys back and like... Okay, they're still not going to do anything really, but it gives you a sliver of equity, doesn't it? You know, because there's only one tackler on the team and casting him would have been... Would have been very good. So I think that was the right shout to have blitzed the claw pommer that turn. He probably just wants Cadenius Claw Pommer to die, that's probably more the thing. But I mean, I, I, do, I did agree that it was the right play. <laughs> but yeah, obviously, yeah. everyone has to see Claw Pommers die, don't they? That's, that's the wrong yeah, <laughs> it's, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> they always get move bust, I find. Hmm. Well, you can like, keep the move bust, can't you? That's the thing. You can't keep the yeah, strength bust. Yeah, but it's a pain and... in the ass. Because every time you pom, you're like, oh man, I can move like two squares. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, it's the funny, for me, it's the funniest like perm on them. Because people will keep them, but then like, yeah, like once they pom, they're... <laughs> that pom has been pretty pants as well. Like, I'm, mm -hmm. I swear the removals have come from everyone else. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure that pom like that pom he's pommed at Croxagore three times and the most he's got is a stun. Mm. I know I remember him rolling some pushes against some lads as well. Mm. Can you imagine if uh, the start of the game when Sindane fouled the uh Pommer it was a Kaz? <laughs> that would have been very interesting. Yeah. I guess he appos it like just straight away. Yeah, yeah, no matter what it was. Probably. So yeah, this is just... Yeah, it's just like, I don't know, trying to stop a... a whole river with a... I don't know... plaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's rough, isn't it? It's rough because Nick's got plenty yeah. of time. He's got like five turns still. You know, he doesn't have to do anything crazy. Like, <clears throat> you know, exp and he's he's not gonna he's not gonna do anything dumb. Like, no, put, put exactly. In yeah. Break tackle range or whatever. Like he has he has made a few minor mistakes, but. Yeah, like, yeah, mine not to be fair. Yeah. It's not on yet, it's not on for 10 minutes, Corpa. Calm down, Corpax. Calm down. Have you streamed that game that hasn't even played yet, Jim? <laughs> I haven't I haven't streamed the game that hasn't been played yet, no. Well, what are you doing with your life, Jim? You need to sort it out. I'm so, I do apologise. It's unacceptable. <laughs> we demand content. <laughs> Need them on content. Just get some, get some puppets and like act it out yourself. Bunnies. <laughs> 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 well, now, surely, surely, now he gets forward here. I don't know. How how do you think he breaks through, Jim? I'm not sure. <laughs> it, it's pretty tight. <laughs> How can he deal with content that hasn't been made yet? Oh, I forgot this is a replay, so he's obviously had like the whole two minutes to think about this one before <laughs> he started moving guys. Uh, yeah. It's, it's hard to see it like in the replay when they just move straight away, you know. <laughs> Who's he blitzing? Oh, 
That's a good question. Maybe just defenseless skink? Guess he wants to tag, yeah. He wants, he wants the break tackle his tag. Yeah, he's pumping the, yeah, he's pumping the blood. Mm. There's the pow! There's the pile! Double key! <laughs> Oh, he gets a KO. He does get a KO this time. Mm. Giving up hitting real players. <laughs> Nick, Nick. Hello, Fami. Oh. Hello. Ooh. Where's he off to? I'm oh, just taking the bomber. Mm. Oh. Oh, nearly got oh. him. Oh. What was it? One in two, four, eight, one in eight chance with a reroll? Not terrible. One in eight. Fancy leaving that on, Nick. <laughs> Unbelievable. Call yourself a blood bowl coach. <laughs> I wonder if you can chain back somebody and then chain the ball forward twice. I wonder if it's worth trying it. Like, block why, him. Why would you bother, Jim, mate? You just smash that skink and then you three, wait another four, turn. Five, yeah, but you could do, right? You could block him. Put him why? in. Block him. Push him to there. Right? And then push him to there. And then use the blitz. So you can just score this turn instead of, like, waiting another turn. He's got uh, a 1 in 8 chance of stopping you, mate. He's got a 1 in 8 chance of stopping you. Well, I'll let him take that 1 in 8 all day, mate. <laughs> Now the thing is, even if he did pull off a miraculous thing, then you just pick it up on someone else and score with them. Probably. He's not got any recovery, he's not got any recovery or anything, has I he? mean, probably, but you could feel the pickup, right? Well, I guess you've got a 3-0 in re-rolls as well. The, the real, the real uh, play to do here is just BM him and not score on purpose just because you've got three re-rolls <laughs> and he's got none left. And then just win on kicks. <laughs> just don't score and win on kicks. No. <laughs> oh yeah, this was gone for an, an, just a normal uphill, or just a 2D uphill, there was a chance. So... You got baited into that. <clears throat> oh, looks like we've timed this wonderfully well. There you go, there's the end. Absolutely amazing. Well played, Nick. Commiserations in vain. Yeah. It was always going to be hard, wasn't it? I'm sure he... You'll be fine with that. <laughs> At the end of yeah, the yeah. Like it's uh, it was that brutal turn nine really that swung it, wasn't it? Because it like it almost looked good for the lizards at halftime until the three KOs came back and then and then the LOS and then it was just like whole oh, man, whole oh, man, whole oh, man, whole <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it was brutal in the end. So there you go. In the final, he's beaten up team that's still better than how most teams that entered it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. There you go. Commiserations, Sindane. Congratulations, Gadenik. Thank you very much, Dimmy. Absolutely glorious as always. Glorious, Jim. Glorious, Jim. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.